Hi, hello, how's it going? It's Elena, welcome back to my channel. I feel like a video like this will probably bring in some people that are not subscribed, so stoked if you're here for the first time. Feel free to stick around, I'd love that. No pressure. The day has come for a new challenge. This time around, we're gonna be testing out Soul Cycle for 30 days. So I did this one other time in the past. I tried Bar for 30 days. Um, feel free to check out that video. And it's been a little while. I've kind of fallen off the wagon. <laughs> And I figured it'd be fun to give Soul Cycle a try. Basically, I'm doing Soul Cycle four to maybe five times a week for four weeks. So it's not this like massive, like I go every day for a month transformation because I feel like that's not as realistic. Like if you were gonna wanna try this out, most people can't go every single day. Kinda see how I feel, how my body changes, how my like mindset changes. So chances are you've probably heard of Soul Cycle. Whether it be good things or bad things, I don't know. I feel like Soul Cycle is kind of known for being a little culty, or at least seeming like it's this kind of bougie boutique workout experience. Basically, it is a spin class. You're on a stationary bike in a dimly lit room. There's an instructor going on. The music is bumping, the lights are going. You're getting motivational speeches throughout it. It's a whole experience. So I have done Soul Cycle before. But I haven't done any classes in a while, so I figured it'd be a good time to get back on it. I mean, my body is not accustomed to it at the moment. It's a lot about following the rhythm of the song. There's different moves where you're like doing push ups on the handlebars and you're like, scoot back and scoot forward and like moving all around. There's like a weight segment throughout the class as well, so it's kind of split up into really fast paced songs where you keep into the beat, slower paced songs where you are able to increase the weight on the bike so it makes it harder to pedal. So it's like you're climbing uphill, you got the moves incorporated, you have like a little arm segment where you're sitting on the bike and you're doing all your, you know, bicep curls and tricep kickback moment. I don't know what they're called. A little bit on why I'm doing it. I mean, I want to get in shape. I've been very busy the past few months. Um, I finished the bar challenge and then I went to Bali for two weeks and then Fashion Week for two weeks and then Europe for a little over two weeks. So basically for the last like month and a half, almost two months, I've been go, go, go with very little time to exercise and usually eating not super well, especially in Europe. I ate all the croissants and bread and I don't regret any of it, but I've gotten a little squishier than I'd prefer. I love to work on this region. I've let myself get a little fluffy. That's why I figured let's try soul. Let's do something that's like a very cardio intensive workout. You burn a whole lot of calories, you sweat a whole bunch. I'm gonna read a little bit off the website. So Soul Cycle is more than a workout, it's an experience. Our mission is to bring soul to the people. Our one of a kind rockstar instructor guide riders through an inspirational meditative fitness experience that's designed to benefit the mind, body, and soul. Set in a dark candlelit room to high energy music, our riders move in unison as a pack to the beat and follow the signature choreography of our instructors. The experience is tribal, it's primal, it's fun. And yes, the classes are not cheap. To be very honest up front, I have done posting photos in exchange for gifting of classes. For this video, I'm paying for them on my own. Just so it's like, you know, a very real honest opinion. Like, I bought these myself. Not cheap, especially in New York. So, something to keep in mind. I'm excited to see how this goes. See how I change, how I feel at the end. So, let's, let's get cycling. Oh boy. I'm about to head out to class number three. I'm a little tired. Pretty excited. I feel good. My legs are definitely quite sore. I'm hoping I'll be able to keep up today. Let's go to class number three. I'm about to head to class five and I really don't feel like going. <laughs> 
I'm just super tired and sore. I've gone to like three in a row and I think my muscles are just like, yo, you need a break. So I'm gonna power through, hope for the best. I'm kind of gonna sit in the back for this class so that I can pick my own pace and like not feel bad about it. That's the nice thing about the rooms too is that they're super dark. So it's like they have different rows available. So kind of depending on like what mood you're in, you can kind of sit in that row. My legs are sore, but I feel like that's something that's just gonna build up with time. My arm's a little sore from like the arm exercises, but otherwise, feeling pretty good, so let's go do class number five. Hello, so I just finished class number seven and decided to just walk home straight from the class. I feel like almost 99% of the time shower there because I get so freaking sweaty in those classes and it's obviously really bad for your skin to sit in sweaty clothes that like makes my body break out. <laughs> so cute but it was good i really didn't want to go to the class earlier today because it was like a 7 30 p.m class but overall the class went well once i was there and actually doing it i was glad that i was doing it almost halfway there so far so good just finished class number eight only got six more to go we're making moves i actually really enjoyed this class more than i was expecting i like, love the instructor never taken it before so i'm feeling good Okay, also, I literally just walked past Emily Radajkowski, or however you say it, and made like long, prolonged eye contact while looking like this. And of course, she's glowing, she's beautiful. Yeah, just New York things. Hi, I'm back. I look like death. So this weekend, I went upstate and I basically ate all of the rich, decadent, delightful food and didn't work out. Skipped like four days <laughs> of doing soul cycles. So I feel like that set me back a little bit because that class was really hard and I sweat more than I think I've ever sweat. And I feel like I was just sweating out all that rich food I just consumed. So that's fun. Going into class and like didn't want to be there and my legs were really sore. But after like three songs, I was like, hell yeah, I got this. I feel like that's how I am whenever I'm really tired and don't want to do a class. By halfway, I'm like, oh yeah. I don't think there's ever been a time where I'm just like waiting for the class to end. I think pretty much every class I kind of get into it at a certain point, which is nice. I need a shower, so see you guys tomorrow. So I usually take classes in NoHo, but I decided to take one in Fidei. This was my fourth consecutive day in a row taking class, which I thought would make me exhausted. But I feel like if anything, like my body's kind of adapted to it and now I'm able to like keep up and it feels really good. Before I would do like two classes real by the second day I'd be like pooped, but now it's like my fourth class in a row and I felt great. I was so into it. But it was fun trying a new location, a new instructor. I feel like every instructor has a different vibe. Hello from a car. It has been a long time since I've vlogged in a car, but what's up? I kind of messed up with the timing and I am in California now. My brother is getting married, which is crazy. So I'm here for the weekend. Actually, I'm here for like basically almost a week for the wedding festivities and all of that. And I was like, I still have to finish the Soul Cycle Challenge in time. So I decided to come take a class in San Diego in La Jolla. My friend Yasmin is actually gonna meet up with me, which I'm super excited for. She's never done Soul Cycle. So I think it's gonna be really fun to get her like reaction and opinion. This is my 13th class, so we're nearing the end. Um, so yeah, let's go, let's go cycle. So this is how sweaty we actually look after class. <laughs> if anyone was wondering, we look like an egghead. We're little red potatoes. Tomatoes. So cycle, we did it. Honestly, quite a different vibe in California than New York, I realized. Really? It was like a lot more chill and people were way friendlier. What's about your experience? First time at Salt. I thought it was gonna be intimidating, yeah. like judging me, none of that. Also, True. our instructor, I think her name was she Janelle. Was so nice. She was so nice. Like she was super encouraging. Um, definitely want to do it again. Mm -hmm. Definitely something I want to incorporate Hell, into my yeah. routine. But other than that, good. it was really good. I'm Yay. feeling very encouraged. I'm feeling worked. My endorphins. Yeah. Yeah, endorphins. Yeah, endorphins. They yeah, kind of the get them up. You feel really good feel after. Really. Good. And you have also time to drink water. True. Which is key. Hydration, hydration is key. Hydration. Is key. <laughs> hydration is key. <laughs> Good morning. This is class number 14. I'm feeling good. My brother's wedding is tomorrow. I'm really trying to squeeze in these classes. I'm committed. I'm gonna finish this challenge up. It's been good so far. Let's go get our cycle on. I'm feeling, feeling ready. Hello, 
I'm back. Just finished another class, feeling good. And I realized I forgot to mention this earlier. The reason I decided to do the Soul Cycle Challenge is because this month there is the Soul Cup, which basically is like a challenge for the more that you ride and the more you ride with friends, basically they will donate um, depending on the challenge you set for yourself and how much you ride. I was figured this was the perfect month to do it. These classes are kind of expensive, but at least Soul Cycle is giving back this month for every class that I'm riding. So I'm like, okay, win-win. I get a good workout, I make a video, and we're donating to charity. We're doing good things. But yeah, class went well. Overall, feel pretty good. I was a little sleepy throughout at the beginning, but I definitely woke up after a few songs and finished with the thing. Hello, what is up? We made it. It's official. I did 16 classes. Made it to the end. Feeling good. I'm gonna jump into a few thoughts off the bat and then some pros and some cons and kind of my final thoughts on the whole thing. I've been to Soul Cycle, but I still kind of have this perception of it being kind of like clicky and intimidating and hard to really become part of the culture, which a little of that still is true. I did notice a pretty big difference between I was in California versus New York. California, when I went to the classes there, I felt like I was like friends with the instructors and the people at the front desk in like two seconds. They were very friendly, super welcoming. And New York definitely is, but I think there's a little bit of a different mentality. Um, and I go to morning classes, so it's a lot of um, just like badass business women and men like working hard and maybe it's like me being shy and me being younger when like the average age seems a little bit older that I'm just like intimidated. I feel like the studio I've been going to, I still don't know anybody even though I've been going to like 16 classes and that's partially my fault. What is incredible though in the classes, it's all about body positivity, it's all about being stronger and you know it really focuses on like your mental and your physical health. I mean I've struggled with body image issues my entire life. I've really like had a hard time accepting the way I look. Honestly, Soul Cycles helped with that a lot and just the way they preach their messages during the class, it's about like learning to love yourself and appreciate yourself beyond just like, you know, the physical body, but just you as a human. I feel like my mental and emotional health has improved after I take a class. Throughout the class, instructors are giving like some type of motivational message and it's cheesy, but like I'm on the bike and I'm like, yes. I am enough. Another thing is too with the classes, I feel like they go by so quick. There's great music, there's lights, they keep you changing and moving and dancing on the bike. Before you know it, the class is over and you're stretching and you're like, oh my gosh, that was 45 minutes. Biggest con by a long shot is the price. It is not cheap in the slightest. I think if money is not something that's an issue for you, then hell yeah, go for it, live your best life. But if you're on a budget, there's a lot of other ways to get a really great workout. It's pricey and it's elitist in the sense that the price is so high. I forgot I had a meeting, lost all the daylight, and now I'm just filming with room lighting. I'm a really bad YouTuber. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Back on into it. So by the end of the Soul Cycle Challenge, physically, it wasn't a massive difference, but in retrospect, I guess I should have realized that overall I have a pretty healthy lifestyle. Well, maybe like the last month or two hasn't been the best. So I think if I was to go from like months of like never working out and like eating like crap and switch all of that over, then I would have seen a much bigger difference. But overall, I was doing a lot of cardio. So some of the changes I did see was definitely like my legs felt a ton stronger by the end. My arms felt stronger. My abs felt a little stronger, but I don't feel like I saw a massive difference. But again, if I'm doing only 16 classes in 30 days, I'm not gonna become a new woman. So is it worth it? Would I recommend it? It depends on how much money you're trying to spend, what kind of look workout you're looking for. I personally think I will do it and incorporate every now and then. I don't think it's gonna be a primary workout, like obviously because of the cost, but also um, because it does feel like I could be strengthening myself in other ways. I think if I wanna see improvement let's say like more ab definition or arm definition, I'm gonna have to incorporate other types of workouts. So I will keep doing it, especially when I like maybe have had a really stressful day and I wanna just like mentally and physically kind of detox almost and just kind of like cycle all that stress out. It's great for that. Going into it and like just trying soul cycle in general, I was like, okay, soul cycle, like basic. But after having done it a lot, I'm like, okay, you know, honestly, I like can fully get into it, get into the motivational speeches, the music, like I'm here for it. So that's all I have to say about soul cycle. I really enjoy doing these challenges. You guys help keep me accountable because I know I'm making a video about it and I want to try out some more stuff. So definitely leave a comment. Let me know what you've seen in the future. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you stick around and subscribe and make sure to turn on that little bell notification. That's all I have for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you found this helpful, that you got some more information. Until next time, bye bye